Here are some basics about pulse measurements on an oscilloscope. You can see on the display here I have a square wave and this square wave is being run at a frequency of 100 kilohertz with an amplitude of 4 volts. So right here you can see that I have two microseconds for the x-axis time per division. So that means each one of these squares in the x-axis represents two microseconds. So the period, which would be from here to where it starts to repeat again, is about five divisions. Five divisions times two microseconds gives me about 10 microseconds for the period. The on time, which was this pulse right here, is half of the period. So half of that would be about five microseconds, just like the off time is also about five microseconds. Now, if you wanted to measure the rise time of this pulse, you have to get in there and stretch out the seconds per division so that you hone in really tight on the time it takes to move up on the pulse. So you have to estimate roughly 10%, which is somewhere around here, to about 90%, approximately here, and then count up the divisions in the horizontal axis from that 10 to 90%, and that will give you the rise time. So those number of divisions times whatever your time per division is, in this case on the display I have 10 nanoseconds, that would give you your rise time. If you're using a digital oscilloscope, you could just press your measure button and the system will give you a rise time. On this one it's indicating about 43, 42 nanoseconds. This figure gives you a clearer explanation of how to calculate the rise time. You can see the beginning occurs at 10% and the end at 90%. So the difference of those two time points would give you the rise time.